Today, you guys have challenged me to use the smallest player in the whole game and actually ever in FIFA history. This guy called Nakagawa, he's Japanese, only 5 foot 1. But look at those work rates. High, high work rates, he cannot go wrong. I'm going to try and get a win with this card. Last time we used Vergara with 14 shot as a striker and I got a lot of comments saying, Matt, you know what, next time you've got to try the smallest player. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. However, we're going to make this one a bit different, guys. going to have this team with a lot of other small players and a lot of other tall players to make it look absolutely ridiculous in Division 1. And I like doing these, man. It makes it very interesting. So without further ado, we're going to go with the Silver Striker, who many of you may have forgot was such a great player back in the day. I think in FIFA 14, he had like a crazy team in the season card. It's Lacina Traore. In FIFA 13, had an amazing cheap gold card. He is six foot eight. He is, well, yeah, he is nearly two foot taller than his partner in crime there, Nakagawa from Japan. And um, yeah, we're gonna go Traore there. Six foot eight with a five foot one striker. Incredible stuff here. Centre mid for the team will be a bronze centre mid, and it's going to be this guy. Where is he? Bronze centre mid from Japan. His name is Hiroka. There, he's only five for five. So we've got a five for five midfielder. Left centre mid. Right centre mid will be a gold uh, rated player who's going to be 82 rating, I believe. He think I think he's actually um, an untradeable card in my club, and there he is. We've got Jean Michael Seri, their five foot six midfielder, alongside three other very short players and a guy who's six foot eight. This is going to be ridiculous. Right mid is going to be a silver right midfielder from, I believe, France to make this team work, guys. And again, he is only five foot six. This midfield is so short. And I'm going to have him there. That His name is Grand Seer. He is from Ligun, from uh, Troyes in Ligun. Left mid though, gonna go with a really nice upgrade. I didn't know this guy was actually upgraded, but either way, he's got a cool card. He's only, what is he? 74 rating, non-rare. And it's this guy, Nakajima there, from Japan. 87 pace, good, sta good stats there for a 74. Silver, five foot five, four star, four star. It's a good card. Like that's actually good, a good card. Could be the best card in this team. Bronze left back though on this team will be another Japanese player here, guys. He's only, I think he's only five foot five, I think. It is going to be um, this guy, Horigomi there. He's only got five, he's only five foot six, only got 55 pace. He probably has the worst card I've seen in this game, maybe. He's up there. He is left back for the team. Centre back though, to make this work, as it literally wouldn't work without an icon, I'm going to be using an icon, and it's going to be Nesta. Good, very good icon card. He's six foot two, so kind of like in the middle of these kind of tall and small players right now. But yeah, to make this work, guys, had to use an icon, and he will work there. I couldn't find a Swiss centre back from the um, from the league in Japan, so it probably wouldn't work. But yeah, if you guys have any, any other ideas for that position, then do let me know. But for now, we're going to use an icon there. But still, the team is seriously incredible. Maybe incredibly bad, but it's a challenge. Right centre back will be a silver centre-back. And this guy's a very tall player. One of the tallest players in the game, I do believe. And he does have, I think, two different cards in the game. It's this guy, Lacroix. La La I'm going to say his name is Lacroix. I, I, I want to say Lacroix, but I think it's Lacroix. Lacroix? I don't know. He, though, is six foot six. And if you've ever stood next to someone who's six foot six, you realise they're very tall indeed. Right back, though, will be a French right back who is 69 rated. It's going to be... Uh, where is he? He's here somewhere in my club. Uh, eventually, he's here somewhere. There you go. His name is Cordoval. He's only five foot six, and he goes at right back. To complete the team of just ridiculously small and insanely tall players, it's going to be a bronze goalkeeper from Man City of all places. It's going to be Murich. This guy is six foot six. He is a giant in goal and 700 coins. Hopefully, he's worth it. And to make this hybrid work, I went with him to get the link there to Lacroix at right, at right centre back. But there you go. There is the team. As you can see, ridiculously small players there. Five foot one. Oh my God. Six foot eight. Five foot five. Five five. Five six. Five six. Five six. Six foot two. Six six. Five six. And six foot six. But obviously the smallest player ever 
in FIFA history is this guy. There was, I think, a guy from Argentina in FIFA 14. I'm not sure if he's a Villanova. Villanova? I think he was actually the same height. However, he's actually apparently gone, he's grown by six centimeters. So not sure if you can really count the one, but still this guy, I think like factually, I think is the smallest player in FIFA history. Let's see though, if we can get the win with the one and only Nakagawa. So guys, here we go. Division one right now against Mahane, inform Wilson, 85 Salah, inform Jesse Lingard, inform Oxlade Chamberlain. Very good team. Guys, look at the height difference, five for one and six foot eight and they both can't pass seriously they literally cannot pass oh good play let's go oh look at that by nakagawa and again come on man they played and again <gasps> oh my god <laughs> what all No way! Oh. <laughs> oh, this guy is so bad. But he's hilarious to use in Ultimate Team. Oh, the ball. Oh my god, 2 1. What is this team? This is in Division 1. 2 1 up with the smallest striker in the game, Nakakagawa. This team is playing really well. What is that growth turn? Oh my god. Oh my god! Yes! 3-1! Did you see that incredible ankle breaker by Nakakagawa, guys? That for me is as good as a goal right there. We're winning in Division 1 with the smallest striker, the smallest player ever in FIFA. You've seen the team. It is shocking. This team is so hard to use. Yet, whatever reason, look at that fake shot. He broke his ankles right there. Come on, man. That is amazing. I don't know what it is, guys. I just love using, like, really crap teams and it's such a great feeling if you can get the win not over yet though look at this guy go man he's so small like he just he nearly got killed there one 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 yes for all so guys next game in division one this guy's got a very solid uh, yeah premier league team uh, in form lone striker olivier Giroud, mares cam aguero let's try and beat this guy One. Oh, what a goal that is. One all. Game on. One. One. Yes! I've done it. 2 1. The smallest player ever in FIFA has scored. And again, amazing goal, guys, in Division 1. When Nakagawa there. Look at this goal. Beautiful goal. Great assist by Lucina Triore. Brilliant finish by the smallest player in FIFA. So that was the smallest player ever in Ultimate Team history, guys. Comment down below which player, or maybe even team, we should use next. I love trying to get wins and just great goals like that we scored before with Naka Gagawa and players like that. Players who have 14 shot, like the last player we used, which was, I think, Vergara. Do comment down below, though. The highest word to comment, guys, is the player that we will use next. I want to use interesting players like him, who's 5 for 1, like other players with 14 shot, like maybe the weakest player we could use next. That'd be kind of cool. Do comment down below, though. Leave a like for more, and I'll see you guys later.